Hello, um, welcome again to 8701. In this short video, I'll talk about the books we are using and the literature we are using in this class. So let's dive right into. Um, there's a sequence of textbooks I uh, go back to when I prepare the material for the class. Um, you know, the one which I use in order to, you know, derive the outline or the uh, schedule for the class is Introduction to High Energy Physics by Perkins. Um, but Again, I use material from a sequence of textbooks and um, reading material uh, for you guys as well. Um, nuclear physics is not uh, covered in Perkins. So we have here uh, Samuel Wong's book on introductory nuclear physics. Um, we spent about two weeks talking about nuclear physics um, towards the second part of the class. Um, and, um, you know, we will cover the basics. We talk about um, you know, the introductory material really in this sequence. Um, a book I like a lot is the Introduction to uh, Elementary Particles by Griffiths. Um, and you see me, you know, using examples out of that book a bit. Um, then on the nuclear physics side, there's uh, Kenneth Crane. Um, there's an MIT book, or an, a book which has been put together by uh, MIT faculty and research scientists. And then there's Techniques for Nuclear and Particle Physics um, by Leo, which I like a lot. Um, it's a little bit of an older book, but it um, goes into some of the technical details and material details which are important to understand how we build detectors. Uh, and then a more recent book is Modern Particle Physics by Mark Thompson. It dives right into um, particle physics, the energy frontier, um, and it's, it's really nice to read. It's a modern book and it's easy, easy to read and comprehend. Uh, I recommend to have a look at the review articles by the data, a particle data group. Um, they are uh, really concise articles, which you know are you know for beginners or for introductory level maybe a little bit difficult. But as we go through the material in this class, you should be able to take those uh, articles to review certain sections of this class. For example, QCD or electroweak interaction, the Higgs mechanism. And while you do this, you also learn what are the latest results and measurements in this area. Um, I'll be posting uh, a set of papers as we go through the class and you'll see in the course organization that I'll ask you to actually summarize some of those papers in our recitation section. Um, so those are going to be important papers, for example, uh, describing the experiment which was used to measure parity violating uh, violation or a paper on the Higgs discovery. That's it for literature. Um, please, you know, as always, go ahead and ask me questions. Um, you know, there is, you know, if you Google particle physics or nuclear physics, you'll find tons of literature available. Um, there's many good books, and you know, you might find a different one from this listing, which suits your uh, appetite for reading and learning.